Hi everyone and welcome to Dawson Tools. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at our DAM100B, our digital animal meter. Let's look at the functions of the meter. Go ahead and press the red power button to turn the meter on. The main part of the display shows the current wind speed. The meter can measure wind speed using six different units of measurement. The default unit is meters per second. By pressing the unit button, you can cycle through the rest of the units, which are kilometers per hour, miles per hour, feet per minute, feet per second, and knots. If you press the function button, the meter will switch to air volume area setting, which will allow you to set the area of air to be measured once you're ready for air volume measurement. The screen will display the current selected area of air that the meter is using to calculate air volume. To set the area, use the unit button to increase the flashing value. Press the maximum minimum button to switch to the next value to be adjusted. Once you've set all four values, pressing the maximum minimum button again will let you select between square meters or square feet for the area. Once that has been selected, press the maximum minimum again and the meter will beep twice, letting you know the error has been set. After you set the air volume, press the function button to move the meter into air volume measurement. The default unit is cubic meters per second. To change the volume unit, press the unit button and the meter will switch to cubic meter per minute. Press unit again and the units will switch to cubic feet per minute. Pressing unit once more will return to the default unit. Once you selected the appropriate measurement unit, you're ready to measure the air volume. In either wind speed or air volume modes, if you press the maximum minimum button, the display will show the maximum value recorded by the meter after pressing the button. If you push the button again, the meter will display the minimum value recorded after the button was pushed the first time. Pressing the button a third time will return the display to normal. To hold the current reading on the screen, press the Hold Mode button and the display will keep the current reading on the screen until the Hold Mode button is pressed again. At the top of the screen, the meter shows the current ambient temperature and relative humidity. The temperature's default unit is Fahrenheit. To switch to Celsius, hold down the Unit button and the temperature will change to Celsius. To go back to Fahrenheit, hold down the unit button again. To switch the temperature display to dew point temperature, hold the hold mode button down, and the display will switch to dew point temperature. To change to wet bulb temperature, hold down the hold mode button again. To return to ambient temperature, hold the hold mode button once more. The meter has a backlight which will allow you to use the meter in dark areas. To turn on the backlight, press the backlight button and the backlight will come on and stay on for approximately 15 seconds before turning itself off. To turn the backlight off manually, press the backlight button again. And finally, the meter has an auto power off feature that turns the meter off after 30 minutes of non-use. The symbol in the top right of the display tells you when this feature is active. To disable it, hold the function button down and the auto power off symbol will disappear, letting you know the feature was successfully turned off. The auto off feature will reactivate once the meter is power backed on, so keep this in mind when disabling this feature. To turn the feature back on manually, hold the function button down again. And this concludes our demo for the DAM100B, our digital animal meter. For more information, please visit us at www.dawsontools.com.